This is Fish Game, a 2-4 to four player online game built in the Godot game engine. It uses Nakama as the backend, which is an open source scalable game server. You can download and play the game right now from either GitHub or itch.io, link in the description. It's free, the source code is available on GitHub under the Apache 2 license, and there is a written tutorial that walks you through how you can use Nakama to create your own similar game with Godot. Hi. I'm David Snopek from Snopek Games, and I was hired by Heroic Labs, the creators of Nakama, to create this sample game and tutorial. This was a really fun project. There was a design document with specific requirements and all that, but the high-level idea was just make a clone of Duck Game, but with fish instead of ducks, in Godot, using Nakama. They also hired uh, two other game developers to do the same, but with the Unity game engine and MacroQuad, which is a Rust game engine. Those games and tutorials will be coming out soon. The music and sound effects were created specifically for Fish Game by Jacob T. Ripdahl. The art, which I absolutely love, was created by Orlando Herrera, aka Pixelfrog, who makes uh, free game assets on itch.io. And actually, I used one of his asset packs in a game jam long before working on this project. And I, I like don't know for sure, but my understanding is that Heroic Labs were looking for someone who could pull off a certain art style. They found his free work on HIO and asked if he wanted to do a contract job, which is pretty much exactly how I got involved in the project too. Uh, I very publicly worked on some other online multiplayer games with Godot and Nakama. I made the first uh, Nakama client uh, for Godot in the Godot Asset Store. And so like when they were looking for a Godot person to make the sample game, they found me. Anyway, I, I bring that up really just to say that doing open source work or producing free game assets can sometimes lead to work opportunities in the future. Anyway, back to the tutorial. Uh, it's published over here at heroiclabs.com in their blog, full link in the description below. It covers uh, four different features of Nakama, user authentication, matchmaking, real-time multiplayer, and leaderboards. I tried to make it very easy to uh, download the source, import it into Godot, and get started. If you have Docker and Docker Compose on your system, you can actually run this one Docker Compose command, and it'll set up uh, a local Nakama server with the right configuration. And uh, one important note about Fish Game and this tutorial is that this is intended to be a real-world example. A lot of tutorials are super simplified to make their content easier to understand and explain, uh, but sometimes at the expense of showing how the given technology would be used in a real-world game. So Fish Game is a bit more complex. There's more in direction, more error checking, handling corner cases, addressing race conditions, all of the things that are necessary in a real-world game. This also makes the tutorial quite long, uh, <laughs> even though um, there's actually a lot in the game that isn't covered in the tutorial, because the tutorial focuses just on the parts of the game that directly interact with Nakama, uh, which makes sense. The Heroic Labs folks wanted a Nakama and Godot tutorial, not a Godot multiplayer tutorial or a Godot platformer tutorial. But the game does do some cool things um, with finite state machines and has some uh, interesting network optimizations. For example, it does some simple input prediction the clients are actually sending messages to each other at 20 frames per second, but the game runs at 60 frames per second. In the in-between frames, it's locally simulating all the remote players and then correcting them when it does finally receive a message with the real inputs. So there's a bunch of interesting stuff in this game that isn't the tutorial. So I think I might do some additional articles on snowpackgames.com or videos here on YouTube digging into those other aspects. So I invite you to check out the tutorial on the Heroic Labs blog. Again, link in the description. And if you want to be notified when I publish new videos and articles, please subscribe to the newsletter over at snowpetgamescom slash newsletter. Uh, you can subscribe here on YouTube as well, but then you only hear about the videos and not the articles. Also, I'm launching a different online multiplayer game on Steam in about six weeks. It's Retro Tank Party. It's also built with Godot and Nakama. If you're interested in helping with playtesting, uh, please join the Discord over at snowpetgamescom slash Discord. I don't have any Steam keys yet, uh, but if you help out with playtesting, I'll give you a free Steam key when I finally have them. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you later.